HD dock, a laptop dock, or just an HDMI cable. And I'll start with this uh, laptop dock. The laptop dock is actually 14 millimeters thin. It's actually thinner than most people's phones. Uh, it provides eight hours of battery life. So it's not just, it's not a netbook. It's not a PC. There's no processor in here. There's no memory in here. There's no computing power in here. It's just a miniature version of a docking station. Okay. If you're to take all of this and shrink it down to this form factor, that's effectively the paradigm you need to think in. Okay. So it's powered by the Motorola Atrix. So all I would do is take the device, I would slip it into this little tray here, and five seconds to six seconds after I open this screen, it'll bring up two interfaces. Wow. Yeah. One is, oops, one is the actual uh, Android interface. So you'll see my phone over here on the left. It actually jumped into a uh, search window here. But I can actually use my Android phone, and it's not just a simulator or an emulator. It's actually my phone that I'm running here. So I can run, you know, hundreds of thousands of Android apps straight from this environment. I could actually expand it to full screen if I want to do that, and I could rotate it uh, using this. And if I want to see, you know, if there's an application that I want to use, uh, or if there's a certain email that I want to get out, or if I just simply want to play, say, Angry Birds in a big screen, <laughs> see big Angry Birds. And it's I can so do that. clear as well. Yeah, it's a WXVGA resolution screen. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, we found that consumers really value that resolution right. when it came to that. Uh, so that's the Android uh, part of it. The other, uh, other side of it, and I'll actually uh, uh, show one of the customized versions, it um, is the web processing that it allows thanks to the Firefox browser that we have here. So the webtop application actually provides a full PC grade browser. So this is not a mobile version of a browser. It doesn't pull down mobile websites. It pulls down full websites with full Adobe Flash 10 support. So you can see any website you can see from your computer, you can see on this computer. Wow. You now have, yes, your mobile view of your smartphone, you have your uh, your web application here that will do anything from obviously your Twitter to uh, other solutions such as Salesforce.com or Outlook Web Access or Gmail. So full productivity here from a web application perspective, full productivity from a smartphone perspective, and we also put in a personalized media player in here too. So um, if I were to take this and go home and want to show some of the high definition video that I actually captured at my son's soccer game or in a sunset or something like that, I can have this connected to my HD television at home in my living room. I can click on the entertainment center here or pre-program the solution to actually launch into the um, entertainment center. And you'll see that it launches in just a few minutes, in just a few seconds, into this interface. And what this interface is showing you is uh, access to music, pictures, videos, and anything that I actually had on my device. I'm looking for the uh, which I'll find in a second. But um, it, ha it ships with an infrared remote, so you can sit on your couch and actually control this. If you don't have your infrared remote, you can actually use this as a control and go to any of the windows, select uh, videos if I've downloaded any. Uh, so I downloaded something called Timescapes here, which is an astronomy uh, video. And I can control that from this. So if I'm traveling and I'm in my hotel room and I have an HD screen in my room, I can just use an HDMI, oops, HDMI cable. Sometimes you have to dock it when you dock here. It's, it's pretty tight. I'm trying one more time. There we go. Um, and it will project in full high definition onto, you know, from 4 inches to 104 inches. It, it will play 1080p videos. It projects in 720p, though. So. And it just automatically scales into the resolution of the TV, correct? Correct. Okay. And, and, well, it projects in 720p, yeah. so if it's greater okay. than 720p.